So, would you please tell us your name? My name is Harold Fetcher. Okay, and do you have any particular memories you'd like to share with us today about Milton? Milton? Mm -hmm. Well, I moved to Milton in 1936. I was 11 years old. This year I had a big flood. Horse out most the whole business district. Oh, wow. Very, very tough time. Mm -hmm. But they came back, you know, big, big time. Mm -hmm. Were there any um, changes in Milton during World War II? Uh, you know, a lot went on that I didn't know about because I was overseas, you know. And mm -hmm. When we corresponded, we didn't talk about, you know, such things that. Okay. I, when I got back home, I really found out. I only thought gasoline was rationing. Mm -hmm. But I got home, everything was rationing. Oh. <laughs> and and oh, oh, they had a taxi in Mountain too. I didn't know that. I got off the train at the station, carried that big virus bag, put it on an airline's restaurant. Mm -hmm. It was two o'clock in the morning. Didn't even know they had a taxi. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. but I don't think much changed. I had a lot of injuries in my home now, my Okay. Yeah. yeah. What type of industry did they have? Oh, I worked at a shirt factory. And they had the AC and their quarries and steel mill mm. and that stuff. Mm. Well, thank you for sharing. Um, are there any other particular things that you remember about Milton from back then? No, not much. It was a, years later, see, everything kind of moved out. Mm. And, and I know. We used to have five and nine, you know, and all that old stuff years ago. All kind of hardware stores. But I don't know, it's all gone now. Do you have any particular memories about Milton that you would like to share? Well, I mean, when I come out, I join all the clubs. Mm -hmm. VFW and Legion Moose. You know, they had a lot of stuff going in. The club said mm -hmm. we all had baseball team, softball, baseball. Okay. Mm -hmm. And not most of one time we had a 30 men three club. Wow. Had tuxedos, you know, the club uh, mm -hmm. bought them tuxedos and everything. Mm -hmm. All the clubs had a good competition. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. All of them the region. I don't know if you remember, we had your keystoners, a drum and nuclear core. Okay. We put on our first cavalcade of champions at Bucknell every year. Oh, drum no. corps, you know. Okay. And we won our first state championship in 1943, Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. Region Convention. That was a good thing, that was a good outfit. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, I spent a lot of time in VA hospitals to in and out, you know. And, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I played in the Hillbilly Band for a while. Guitar. Oh, there was a Hillbilly Band. Little square dancing, you know. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, the clubs were a big thing, too, for me back then. You know? mm -hmm. To me, held office, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, how did you get involved with the Hillbilly Band? <laughs> oh, my, my brother-in-law, John Bear, he was in Moosey Kenda. Okay. I am. He got me understand. Of course, I was right into on a farm. I was born on a farm outside Pots Potsco. Okay. And my dad used to have square dances at the home, you know, basically. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, the house I was born in still out there. I sat on the hill. Oh. There were 11 of us kids all born at home. Mm -hmm. wow. We all hit 80 or 90. Wow. Oh, but one, Emma Jane. Okay. The oldest when she passed away about 72. Okay. Three of us in the army. 
all the New York Peeps here. And our father, now he passed away in three states, so about 40 years old, 1938. There's still at least four of us kids in school. My youngest sister, Tress, is her first year of school. Okay. My mother, how she had it, I don't know. Times were tough then. <laughs>